Hello and good evening and welcome to NBC News that night. We were televising the Nash the Republican debate this time. Um we have only one candidate still. I don't know why no one else is running, but uh H two O delirious. Alright, and from here we'll turn it over to Bernie Sanders once again. Hey, you got a nice set. Oh, hello. Uh, welcome to this debate. Um, Delirious, get your butt out here. All right. Bernie Sanders, you made out the sewer, I guess. That's awesome. I that's, wish you would have died. That's right. I don't die. That's why I'm this old. I can't die. That makes sense. Now, today we're sponsored by one single tomato. You can find these in any plain old grocery store, right? Alright, so let's get into the questions. I gotta get this debate over with. I got a press conference afterwards. Our first question is How do you feel about the outbreak of the sneezing tomatoes? Sneezing tomatoes? Do you say sneeze? And I'm not gonna make excuses. There's been a lot of problems in the world with the sneezing tomatoes. They've been causing infections and every time viruses. Even the cockroaches have been dying. Normally, they were supposed to carry the disease. Not no more. Anyway, but these things and tomatoes, they need to calm down. They're sneezing too much. They need to get some clean ashes. All right, next topic. Our second question of the evening is Taco Bell stopped selling tacos to sell manure sandwiches. Too now, we know you, you said last time that that was not a good idea. What is your words you want to tell Taco Bell? I told you! That's all I can say! Manure sandwich? Gross! Try Disgust! Disgusting! That's why I made that noise! It's terrible! Manure sandwich? Take away tacos? It don't even make sense! So Taco Bell, you guys are idiots! Also, like I was just thinking about this, last time I did this, I was a four, I was four manure sandwiches. Well, that's the reason I'm a Republican, guys. That's right. Next question. I switched my opinion so Boy. much. That tells you why you will be a bad president. Don't say Unlike me. That's Don't what, say that. But everyone keeps beating me. Yeah, even Hillary. That's right. But then she quit, so I took over. And now I'm running a Republican. Our next question is... How do you feel about Home Depot becoming a beauty salon? I know. I didn't know that happened. Oh, wow. That's a weird transformation. They go from selling lumber, nails, supplies, toiletries, to going to freaking makeup supplies and stuff, lotion. I don't know how you do that. That's right. I don't get it. It don't make sense. I, I, I'm against it. Because, you know, Republicans, they got, they got to have a total bias, bias like, uh, like, ideas. You can't have any good ideas like the Democrats, which is why I was. That's why I had good ideas. I don't know why I was playing this tomato. Next question. It's like a stress ball. It's the leaking, it's leaking tomato juice everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Do you, f <clears throat> do you feel that Kylo Ren should have a new lightsaber bought for him. He has had to use a toy lightsaber from Walmart. <laughs> Man, poor guy. That's right. Oh, and, uh, and I heard it only cost two dollars. I screwed up. <laughs> he must be broke. No, I don't know why he lost it. He's irresponsible. He lost his lightsaber. He is irresponsible. Much like America's leaders. That's right. Just like Barack Obama. He, and he, he would know that if he wasn't reading the, uh, uh, what, the Quran. That's what it is. The book about Allah. Allah sounds like a Disney character. All right, what's next, Senator Sanders? Are you finally going to have your heart attack? No, I won't. Is Vermont finally going to suck in your opinion? God dang it, Senator Sanders, you had a heart attack? I am quite old. Sometimes I forget what I need to do. Text, ladies, you must have dementia. 
in recent news somehow not related to politics, Freddie Fosbear and found out he is actually not a bear. Um, what is your advice for helping him cope with the fact that he is no no longer a bear? <laughs> That's insane. Poor guy. So first, man, she can't get her, her cupcake because of parental rights, and then and then this man, the, the whole the whole family is getting torn apart. It is a tragedy what the Five Nights of Freddy characters have to put up with. Who's next, buddy? Foxy loses his hook. The world cries. No one to jump scare him on night two at 4 a.m. No, my opinions on that, uh, listen to uh, it's, it's kind of sad. How's he, how do you not know who's a bear? It's literally in his name. Freddy Fosbear. Was it Freddy Foss Chicken? Don't make sense. Next question? Well, I gotta get some water. I'll still answer the question, I hope. The Taliban leader was found making, producing a video of him waterboarding an American rubber duck trying to get information and was unable to do so. A very big mistake from their side um what are ways though that we can protect our rubber ducks better in the future from being waterboarded huh? are the, are, are rubber ducks they're, they're precious to America we need those ducks in the world for our little kids who are little pucks yeah like mine I didn't say that no, I didn't. don't quote me on that guys there's no one over there. I, I'm, I'm having some problems with my head. Too much sandbox. But, uh, yeah, based on just rubber ducks. It's just bad. Waterboard Taliban waterboarding our ducks. We need those precious ducks. Next question. We. <clears throat> everyone is aware of watching Deadpool go on his honeymoon at the lava swimming pools somehow unaffected by it um what what I guess what is your opinion on this matter my opinion Deadpool's awesome Ryan Reynolds I mean Deadpool uh, it's a great movie uh but that's crazy I don't know how to survive the lava swimming pools. I barely made it out alive. It's probably why I'm as dumb as I am. Uh, but anyway, uh, like who becomes Republican? You have to have something wrong with your head. Uh, but like I was saying, it's, it's, it's uh, lava swimming pools are just bad. We need to put them everywhere because they're bad. That's why we need them because they're just bad for health. They kill people. That's the quickest way to eliminate the Taliban that are waterboarding our ducks. We need those ducks. At the same time, those ducks are probably the ones who stole Kylo Ren's lightsaber. Kylo Ren's probably the one who told Freddy Fosbear he's not really a bear. It's all connected. Next question. Should the terroristic goat from Goat Simulator be prosecuted for his heinous crimes? Definitely. That guy's a murderer. He walks around <laughs> banging into everything, killing everyone his path. Everyone, like if he was running a 5K marathon, he's knocking them all out. He's winning. He's he, he's bad for America, but I'm not. I am someone you need, to, uh, someone you want to elect to run for president. Is there any questions anymore? Nope. Now it is time for your closing remarks. Closing remarks. Gotta go. Goodbye. <laughs> Um, th see, this is exactly what I'm talking about. What a terrible candidate. I would be a way better candidate. He can't even give his closing remarks. Are you sure, Senator Sanders? Just right, you're about to get stabbed. Look at that knife. I cannot die. I am invincible. Um, Sir, uh, you're, you're so wasting you your time. I, I put my energy into this. How are you not <laughs> dying? I'm stabbing you straight in the gut. God, what's going on? I don't actually have a gut. The what is it that I'm stabbing? It is called a stomach. 
Oh, that's the same day. I'm still gonna die. Fine, you're back. Take it out. My back has been gone since I was <laughs> since I was 62, which was only a few years ago. What? It ain't worked. It. You want you to make your stupid statements about an upside down artifact? Right? Definitely. I'll slap your foot. Well, that was a really eventful uh, debate, and um, hopefully uh, Bernie Sanders ten is ends up being okay. NBC News sucks, right? And um, that was the NBC Republican News debate, and this is... And I'm your candidate, H2O Larry, signing out.